What up? It's me, Vladdy Blue. Anyways, okay. So, my father watched Cyberpunk Edge Runners in the English version. His mistake, not mine. He didn't like it, so that. You know what's funny? It's like, I know he didn't say that it's bad that you like it, but when it's your dad, you feel that way, you know? Like, if your dad doesn't like a show that you think is good beyond like anything i the thing is like you have to be okay with some of the things that happen in the show and he's just not and i think it's because he's old right old people don't get everything they're like uh, i'm old i can't see i gotta get lasik surgery and then have to get reading glasses after that because lasik surgery doesn't completely fix your eyesight this is so skinny now Look at that. I think... Wow. Okay, so... My last video should be on, like, the 13th. So we'll have this much... We'll miss... This much in total. We'll miss, like, a lot of birthdays. But not as many as if we were to just stop doing it now. And I think next semester, when I do this again... Hopefully my mom gets me one of the calendars, calendars that reads, uh, what? What? Hopefully it's one of the ones that reads, uh, it's about, like, other things, and I can have multiple days. That would be cool. That would be cool. All right. Wow. All right. What the hell? Bro, there's someone on... Sunday, he was named Don January. That's the wrong month, bro. It's freaking November. It ain't even December yet. All right? Gosh, some people. Born on the wrong day. Oh, gosh. Okay, actually, I know... I know a lot of these people. Okay. Stan Musial... Earl Monroe, Troy Aikman, Ken Griffey Jr., and Michael Strahan. Troy Aikman is old. He's older than my father. All right. Oh, also, also, there is, there are games going on at Memorial Stadium, uh, col not college, high school. Class A is going to be starting at 7. I saw some people get here already, even though it's, 543 that's kind of ridiculous i guess like kind of just like hanging out before the game that's gonna be weird i'm gonna i'm gonna be kind of old for the people that are going well i feel like most of the students are gonna be going and then i'll just be like watching the game to watch the game if i go but it'll be cool to see the quarterback i think for gretna what's his name anyway anyways he's like pretty good i've heard and i've seen even a video about him just while scrolling through instagram it just said this quarterback is blank and the word that was blank is good okay we're done with all this so i guess i'll tell you what happened today nothing <laughs> but no i made scrambled eggs after getting up at eight and then i went to my music class and then i went and walked around old father hall apparently there's a machine in the basement that just looks crazy and then i also went all the way up to the eighth floor and the elevator wasn't working so i used the stairs so i've walked up eight flights of stairs and down and yeah it was really creepy up there because i didn't well i think i noticed like one person up there and then i left a message i said I'm in Chem 110, and I just decided to come up here, and I'm going to stop writing in chalk because it sounds bad, is what I wrote. And then I went back down. And then I saw the basement. Yeah. Uh, the Browns lost. Not by much. They actually helped the Bills with their record in one-score games. So that's kind of bad. Uh, what else is there? The Vikings, after beating the Bills, lost by 37. 
To me, that instantly disqualifies you from winning a Super Bowl. You aren't going to lose by 37 and be able to keep it together. You might be able to win like a few playoff games, but you're not going to win the Super Bowl. The Bills, their losses are like close, and they're the teams that have planned well for them. So, they can still win. I think, I really hope it's Miami. I hope to God it's Miami, because that would be awesome for my dad. He's a big Miami fan. Hasn't ever been around while they've... Well, I think he's been around when they went to the Super Bowl, but not, like, while he was complete... Like, not while he was an adult. I don't think they've been to the Super Bowl while he was an adult. Neither of the Browns, but they've actually never been. And neither of the Lions, uh, Texans, or Jaguars. Which kind of sucks. I think those are the only four teams that have never been. Yeah. I... Yep. Even the Titans have... Well... The Titans have been as the Titans. So, yeah. And the Lions and the Browns have no excuse. But at least the Browns have more playoff wins than the Lions. I think the Lions have won. They have one playoff win in since the Super Bowl started. That is like the worst it can get. Mm. What else is there? I really, I kind of want to go to the game, but the more and more I think about it, I'm starting to think, well, I have homework, right? But it's not exactly due tonight. And would I rather watch two teams? I have no idea who plays for either team other than, like, the quarterback for Gretna. Or would I rather play Pokemon if I'm not going to do anything productive? These are good questions to ask. Also, I'm not going to be going with anybody. It would just be me. But it'd be cool, because I've never been in Memorial Stadium for a high school football game. Even though my high school went to the... Like, they won the championship, but it was a home game because of COVID. Honestly, I think that's how they should do it. I think that they should make the higher-seeded team be the home team for the game. Because just putting it there makes it too neutral of a site. Maybe. I just think it's cooler. Okay, here's here's actually the main reason why. I think it should be at the home team's respective stadium because it's going to look more packed. If you try and put a high school football game in there, it's going to look empty. Like, I guarantee you not even all the, like, first 12 rows of bleachers on either side will be completely filled. Especially if they have to come from really far away. So that's my main reason for not liking it, being in Memorial Stadium. But the atmosphere and environment of it, like just being on that field, is pretty cool. And some of those players are probably going to end up being on that field again later in their football careers. Careers. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for this video. I should look at the camera more often while I'm talking because sometimes I just like look over here and I'm like, hey guys. I'm back with a new video. And who am I talking to? There's no one over there. Well, actually, that's not true. I do have, like, my fan is over there. Like, my biggest fan. Haha. <laughs> uh, I do have, I, if I had two fans over there, I, I should have, that, that would have been way funnier. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Nine freaking minutes, okay? Nine flipping minutes. Plus a few extra seconds. That's how long this video is. Oh, you guys should also go watch That's Good Sports on YouTube. He's a very funny guy. He's a Broncos fan. I like all of his videos. They actually make me smile and laugh. And it's hard to do that when talking about football. And that's going to do it for this video. Outro.